With factoring, usually the first thing that you want to look for is greatest common factor. So to find the greatest common factor, you look at all of your terms. So here we have one, two, three, and you're trying to find the largest term that divides all of them. So usually it's best to look at the numbers first and then look at the variables. So we can say between 12, 4, and 2, the greatest common factor is 2. And then we can go ahead and look at the variables. So between x to the fifth, x to the fourth, and x cubed, if we think about, well, what will divide all of them? So for example, x will divide all of them. If I break down what x to the fifth actually is, it means x multiplied together five times. Three, four, one, two, three. So if I write out what the definition means, in terms of dividing, um, you're always going to end up using the smallest exponent. And the reason is because x cubed can get divided by itself because what happens is an x over x cancels. But x to the fourth is also divisible by x cubed because of that same property, leaving an x. And then the same thing for x to the fifth. And when you're looking for greatest common factor and you say that you want it to be able to divide by that term, well, that means you want it to be able to divide and not be left with a fraction or anything in the denominator. So our GCF is actually 2x cubed. I'm going to actually rewrite our original problem. So 12x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth plus 2x cubed. So when we're writing out our final answer, the GCF is going to go right in the front. So I'm going to write my final answer over here in the corner. So that's 2x cubed. And then in the parentheses is going to be the leftovers after I divide after I divide all my terms by the greatest common factor. So I can do 12x to the fifth divided by 2x cubed. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, so I'm going to write 6 over in my parentheses. x to the fifth divided by x cubed is x squared. And then I go to my other term, negative 4x to the fourth divided by 2x cubed. So negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. x to the fourth divided by x cubed is x. And then finally, my last term, 2x cubed divided by 2x cubed. Well, 2 divided by 2 is just a 1. x cubed divided by x cubed is 1. So we have plus 1. And with all of the techniques for factoring, the final step in terms of how you can actually check your work would be to actually just go through and do the multiplication again. So if I do the multiplication, 2x cubed times 6x squared is 12x to the fifth. 2x cubed times negative 2x is negative 4x to the fourth. And then 2x cubed times 1 is 2x cubed. So you get right back to where you originally started. And the reason is with factoring, we're not changing the expression. We're actually just rewriting it in factored form versus not. So our final answer for this is 2x cubed and then in parentheses times 6x squared minus 2x plus 1.